Amjambo na karibu tena katika mfumo wetu wa kila wiki hapa kutoka Jumba la Kimataifa la Jomo Kenyatta mjini Nairobi. I want to welcome you again to a weekly media briefing here from Kenyatta International Conference Center in our beautiful capital city of Nairobi which is in Nairobi County uh, as they say it. So I want to welcome you wherever you are and uh, the media that are here and also wherever you are watching us at this particular time. Ukiwa popote katika nchi yetu, ukiwa kaskazini kusini mashariki magaribi, bonde la ufa, poto lipo, kijana mzee, mstana, uh, mvlana, si wote hapa tunasema kwamba mimi ni mkenya, wewe ni mkenya, hajalishi mazaliwa wapi, hajalishi unaumri upi, hajalishi we ni kabila gani, hajalishi umesoma mpaka wapi, hajalishi uzitu wa mwili wako ni upi, una haki ya kuishi, kutembea, kuoa, kufanya jia biashara, kujenga nyumba, kutembea, kupiga kelele, popote pale unapotaka katika nchi yetu. Siku zile watu walikuwa wanaambiwa lie lie walai walikuwa wanaambiwa lie down lie lie low like envelopes ili pita. Wewe ni mkenya na una haki. Ukiomka leo ujisikie unajisikia sasa wewe unasikia mahali unaishi kuna baridi sana unataka kwenda pwani. Una haki ya kwenda pwani unue shamba na uishi hapo. Milele daima. Ukitaka kwenda kuishi Mandera una haki ya kwenda Mandera. Ukijisikia pengine jua limekuwa nyingi sana na uko huko Isiolo au huko Makueni na unataka kwenda kunua shamba njoro unaenda njoro. Ukijisikia wewe pengine umezoea kunywa chai, unakunywa chai kila wakati na unaishi Kisumu, unajisikia unataka kunywa chai ikiwa karibu unaenda Kericho unanunua shamba, una hata wao huko unaishi huko. Ni haki yako. Hakuna mtu wa kusema atiwe ni madoa doa. Ati wewe umetoka hapa watu warudi kwa unarudi kwenu wapi? Utasema mimi niko kwetu. Hiyo ndiyo ile haki ya katiba mpya. Lakini kuna wale wana kasumba bado. Kasumba hiyo ya uzee. Kasumba ambayo iko imeingia kwa kichwa wanafikiri ya kwamba mahali ulipozaliwa na kabila lako ni kwako, sio kwenu, ni kwa Wakenya. Wewe ni Mkenya na ni mahali pa Wakenya. Kwa hivyo unakuwa nataka kuhakikishia kwamba hivi sasa kuna mkutano unaendelea wa katiba wa baraza la mawaziri kushughulikia mambo ya kitaifa hawashughuliki mambo ya kikabila kuna mkutano unaendelea hivi sasa ukiongozwa na rais Kibaki kuzungumzia mambo ya katiba kuzungumzia mambo ya nchi yetu maswala tofauti ya ujenzi wa taifa hazungumzi mambo ya kabila hati kabila hili linatoka hapa ifanywe hivi kwa hivyo lazima tuanze kujifikiria haswa vijazi vizazi unajua kuna wengine Ndio anasema at times you cannot teach old dogs new tricks. Kuna wale pale lakini sheria itawapunguza itua, itua mwendo kabisa. Kwa sababu wamezoea kitu kimoja lakini tutasema vijana wengi tunajikakamua sema ya kwamba kabila hatutaki tunataka mkenya awe ni mkenya. Ukija kwangu na umeitimu unatafuta kazi kama kuna kazi na unafaulu haijalishi we ni kabila lipi haijalishi babako nani unapaswa kupata hiyo kazi. Na hiyo ndio Kenya mpya ambayo tunahitaji. There's one critical thing that we need to realize and that is uh, there's a lot of resistance to change and even so that uh, people would like to maintain the status quo but the president the prime minister the vice president and other leaders campaigned on the promise of change when the new constitution came on came uh, was uh, promulgated no nimejifunza that word for a while now so i can say it very comfortably from you'll get it. But you'll still find some people will resist the change. Unfortunately, change is good to some people, but it's bad to some people. It has to hurt some people as it benefits the majority of the people. So the changes that we are going to start seeing in this country of ours are beneficial to the masses, not to the privileged few. So that means it will no longer be business as usual in this country of ours. It cannot be business as usual when thousands of young men and women are sitting at home looking for jobs. It cannot be business as usual when healthcare is not up to the standard it's supposed to be. When we still get women dying in this country out of just a simple uh, procedure of giving birth. It cannot be business as usual when it is risky to just get into a vehicle to go out of town because of road accidents. It cannot be business as usual when people are locked up and abused 
when their civil liberties are actually squashed. It cannot be see, uh, business as usual you know, in this country because people have voted for change. And so with this enactment of the new constitution, we have to make these changes. And some of these changes have to be done immediately. Young people want jobs now. We want to see services implemented. That is why when you talk about the restructuring process, it's going to start. Not, it's unstoppable. The president is committed. The prime minister is committed. The vice president is committed. The whole cabinet is committed. We are committed. And as a young person, I am pushing from whichever angle I can myself to make sure that we see changes on the ground. And so some of these changes that you have started to see are going to continue. And we should expect, actually, according to the plan of the government, the next three months will not be the same in this country. We're going to see many more changes in keeping to the reforms that we've waited for for a long time. It is not going to be business as usual anymore.